Greetings, my esteemed supporters. I am checking in from Total War Warhammer 2, one of the greatest games of all time. Shout out to my man Jan from the Czech Republic for gifting me this fine game. And as you see before you, if you are a, um, a fellow Warhammer enjoyer, you might say that there's some new artwork greeting us at the new starting page. So you see on the left hand side you have some beastmen uh, causing mayhem, carnage, uh, driven by resentiment, resentiment, as I mentioned in my two previous videos against the glorious lizardmen, as you can see on your right hand side here. So we're gonna get into the campaigns. I just want to say that I did actually paint some lizardmen the other day. You can see them before you right now. Quite uh, aesthetic, if I may be so bold. Let me know in the comment section if I may actually be so bold, if they are uh, supremely aesthetic. That's for a game called uh, Warhammer Underworld. So it's a miniature game, really good, one of the best games I've ever played. I will make a separate video on it. So anyway, let's get into the campaign at hand. I'll go with the Eye of the Vortex. So we have three new characters. We have first and foremost a uh, chameleon skink. So that's sort of a um, scout uh, skink. And if you don't know, the uh, the listed men here they are based on um, Central American civilizations, so Aztecs and Mayans. But um, these listed men they are a bit nicer than the actual Aztecs were. So uh, they are good guys in uh, in this game. So anyway, we could uh, play with this guy. Um, has a lot of different faction effects. I'm not gonna go through them. I will have a look at the his uh, nemesis then, who should be the. Uh, the Brass Bull, Taurox. So it's a massive minotaur, um, covered in brass. I can guess that he is um, a quite high thumos, high testosterone beast. And of course, as I might have mentioned at some uh, previous stage, uh, minotaur is my favorite mythological creature. I went to Crete when I was um, five or six and uh, we visited the... Um, Knossos. So ever since then, I've had a Minotaur as my primordial beast, totem creature, something like that at least. So anyway, he has a lot of different cool effects here, and um, yeah, I haven't played this yet, so um, so not quite sure how um, how he works. But we have a third individual. Master of the weapon shops. Master of the Weapon Shops, Thoric Ironbrow. So these are quite similar to the dwarves you would see in Lord of the Rings, so Gimli and uh, those lads. The exception here though is that these Laddingtons here in Warhammer, they also have access to gunpowder, so uh, they can have a lot of cool gunpowder units. And you see here, he also has a uh, a whole host of uh, different uh, special effects. So we're gonna get straight into the game with one of these new heroes and I think I will actually go with uh, Thoric Ironbrow. It's um, quite hot here in Sweden. I have taken a uh, full scoop of Varulsbrygd. I'm gonna go out in, um, in nature soon, do some calisthenics, some chins and dips and go for a walk. But uh, before I begin to do so, and before I, um, before the Varlsbrygd kicks in, I will uh, just have a quick look at this, um, these dwarves. So we're gonna get straight into it. And as you can see, I am an enjoyer here, so I always play on Legendary, on the Campaign Difficulty, and Battle Difficulty Hard. So um, yeah, suitable climate jungle, and since it feels like a jungle here, where I am um, checking in from, um, I think it's only reasonable. So, let's get into it. Powerful and ancient relics of the ancestors. I like that. I like the sound of it. It um, stirs something primordial within me. Good times, good times. From one land infested with blasted Raki to another, it seems the only difference is the eight. These 
vermin best stay out of my way, else they'll meet the mighty steel of my hammer. It seems a local clan has made their home here. Might be they know something about the ancient vaults that lie hidden in these strange mountains. This forsaken continent may be where the purpose of my journey is fulfilled. If the old texts be true, a trove of ancient Dowie artifacts lays buried somewhere near, hidden amidst these strange, forgotten ruins of centuries past. This land could hold the key to restoring the proud legacy of our people. In King Casador's name, I will unearth the lost relics of our ancestors and bring glory to the Dowie once more. That sounds quite good. Quite good indeed. It sounds like something I could have said uh, if we had some ancient relics to unearth here in uh, good old Scandinavia. I would do it to bring uh, honor and glory. So we have Gotri Grimson, and I will embed him in this army, and then we can attack Nostril Damnus. So I suppose that's a uh, reference to uh, the prophet Nostradamus. Um, so yeah, we're uh, gonna do it. We're gonna see if we can get a nice battle in here. Um, Okay, so this is actually a new feature in the game. Auto resolve outcome. Battle result, Pyrrhic victory, casualties medium. But I will actually take the battle manually. Um, since, uh, yeah, since it's a let's play video. And you can see the nice landscape here as well. I'm getting into the jungle fields. Good times, good times. So I have some runes and banners here. Adds explosive damage that reduces enemy leadership. Boom. We're gonna put it on our grudge thrower. And uh, bonus against large. Uh, we're gonna put them on these longbeards. And now we're gonna fight. So, we are in the battle. And I will deploy my, my little army here. So, I'm just gonna go through our units here first. We have some... Uh, Quarrelers, so uh, crossbowmen, two units, which we'll have to use in a good manner. So you can see the enemy, they outnumber us quite a bit. So we need to be, we need to be intelligent about our uh, unit develop, unit deployment. Then we have, of course, a few units of infantry and a uh, grudge thrower unit. Uh, so catapults, and then we have our main guy here, Thoric Ironbrow. And a support specialist, who I suppose again costs magic to uh, to bolster our other units. So since we do have a um, a um, long range unit, we can actually deploy a bit further back here, uh, so we can get get off more volleys before they uh, come at us. So uh, yeah, they can get tired coming up to us and. Um, We'll meet them with our uh, with our units here. So I'm just gonna place them here in a nice defensive position. Something like that. And then our quarrelers, they will have uh, a forward position and then I will move them back. So, now we're ready to start the battle, and as is my custom when making these Total War videos, which I have made since 2014, imagine that I will use a few edits here and there and uh, fast forward a bit like I'm doing now, in order to uh, speed things up a bit. So now we can see that our grudge throwers, they have uh, began the bombardment, so uh, we're gonna target their most dangerous troops, which I suppose would be the Poisoned Wind Globadiers. And uh, it's already doing it, which is nice. Or we could target these guys in case it misses. It 
me might hit the uh, Skaven Slave Slingers back here. So anyway, good thing that I deployed a bit uh, further back here so we can get a nice few shots off. So you see this bar here, the light brown one, it's uh, the amount of ammunition you have. So still have quite a bit of ammunition and now our quarrelers have begun uh, shooting as well. Good times, good times. And uh, what we could do is try to focus on one enemy unit so that they might break and uh, flip. Hopefully they will break and flee any moment now. You can see their leadership is the grey bar here. But alas, it doesn't quite look like we we can do it. Oh, well. And now we have to engage all of our melee troops. Still hopefully we can defend the grudge thrower so it can continue to to shoot so it doesn't get uh, engaged in, um, in combat. So I'm using some magic here, uh, or rune magic, uh, on our troops to bolster their armor. And of course these uh, two um, heroes, Thoric and uh, Gotri, they need to get into combat ASAP. And now as you can see our crossbowmen, they are getting into a nice flanking position here and they can shoot these Skaven Slaves in the back, which is highly optimal. So now you can see they're wavering, the Skaven Slaves, not the best, uh, not the most formidable enemies, uh, fortunately for us. So casting uh, this, the Rune of Speed here. The clans unite, and now you can see our nice flanking maneuver here, shooting these bastards in the back. Now you can see our grudge throwers, they're still uh, firing away, so it's um, it's important to uh, protect your, um, your artillery. And now you can see here, this is the, uh, the Nostradamus, so he needs to... Uh, he needs to die. We're attacking their general with uh, both of our heroes. So you can see his uh, the, uh, the jewel here. Boom! Oh, he got um, he got mugged there. Uh, good times, good times. And if the uh, enemy general dies, the uh, their entire army will um, hopefully break and flee can happen. They will get reduced um, leadership. And there we have won the battle. Good times, good times. Um, so I will just end here, since we can't really chase any any of them down. And the grudge throws ammunition is almost done. So end battle. A decisive victory for the dwarves of Thoric Ironbrow. Now we have two options. We can execute and loot, which grants us some oath gold in addition to regular treasury. Or we can drink to victory, which is quite nice. It lasts for two turns and gives us some uh, nice boosts to our um, province. But we're actually gonna execute and loot because these are heretical skaven. I've no use. So, there we are. We have acquired a follower. Follower gained. Student. Glory for Karakazol. Glory. Good times, good times. I have also gained perhaps a follower right now. That is a student. Who knows? Comment below if you are a student. 
And uh, if you are, you have actually... You have um, given me 10% plus in research rate for my various research projects. So anyway, that is a look at a new DLC. Um, looks really good. And of course, as I've said before, this is a great game. Uh, and just looking at the map, uh, absorbing the, the vibes, the atmosphere, the ambience of it. Good stuff, good stuff. So anyway, thank you for checking in with me, and I will see you in the next video. XOXO, boo!